Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to my high school years let's play and we are about to celebrate our second. Have I only been playing this for two weeks? No, surely not. Third prom? Anyway, I've lost all track of time both in my real life and also in this let's play apparently but very excited for this one. We are going to the prom with Jeb and also Savannah. Hopefully it could be a follow one of Celeste's big break into the music industry because she's actually gonna be the one and only DJ Sandstorm which I'm very very excited for. It's just looking like it's gonna be a good part. Also I feel like I should do every introduction to every video with Sims music playing in the background. It actually is quite a comfort which I honestly never thought I would say considering I had to listen to the Sims 4 soundtrack for a solid week whilst I was at the Sims 4 base game Sims camp. No Stop it. Jules, what does this mean? I'm so confused. I literally haven't even pressed play on prom and I'm already seeing this sentiment about Sydney apparently has the beef already started. Come on, is this because no one else is wearing a costume and you showed up in a costume? Is it because I might have thrown you under the bus on that one? This is like when you turn up to school on own clothes day in your school uniform and it's like the most embarrassing thing you think that could ever ever happen to you. Resentful about no prom invite. Jules was expecting an invitation to prom from Sydney. Jules, you can't be like that. You were the one who was like, I'm gonna ask out Jeb just to get my own back. You're here with them. You can't be resentful to Sydney for not inviting you when you two have had public beef on social, Bunny. I do actually wanna see if I could potentially post about this on social, Bunny even though we are here with Jeb. Post about prom. Energized, happy, sad, or uncomfortable? Oh, do we do like a sad beggy one? Or do we do like a, oh my God, I'm so happy to be here with Jeb. I think it would piss Sydney off more if we were to do a happy narrative. So that's what we're gonna go with. Crown or no crown? Prom is the best night ever. I see your game and I raise you. Vote for prom jester. We are obviously going to vote for our date Jeb. And then I guess, I mean, we can't vote for ourselves on prom royalty. So I'm not gonna do that. We are also gonna have you go vote for Jed as prom jester and then your sibling Jules Michaels. I did make it a little bit spooky. It's not like the best thing ever because like there wasn't like balloons that kind of gave off like spooky vibes. <gasps> Jeb's currently DJing? Hey, uh, that's my sims job. Oi. Get off there. Can I reset Jeb and then hopefully we can go do it? Play music genre. Let's go play Groovin. We want people to get down. Is Savannah here? <gasps> Did Savannah not come? No, stop it. I'm gonna be... We asked Savannah as a friend to prom and she agreed, but she's not here. But it's kind of cute that Celeste is like still confident enough to be able to be like, well, you know what? Ooh, let's take a photo. We will go for a romantic photo. No, absolutely not. We will go for a funny photo with Jeb. Oh, stop, Jeb has come over like to talk to us and stuff. Why is that actually super, super cute? Right, get on over there, Jules. I need you to get your cute little butt into the photo booth with your date. Jeb, <gasps> no, don't even go and talk. Oh my God, yeah, we're like, yeah, I dislike you. Let's brain. Oh, the jealousy. 
I do feel like we have slightly buried the hatchet with Ash. We're actually pretty good friends. I don't know how that has honestly happened. I quite like that they've not got like too much drama. I genuinely think they buried the hatchet between them because obviously we were more focused on starting beef with Sydney, which makes sense. I really wish that we could actually like, you know, influence people to like vote for us as like prom royalty. I think that would be super cute. <gasps> Celeste can now play, play and switch to a new genre of music. Celeste is getting a step closer to mastering techniques and spinning oh, no. abilities. Ooh. Okay. I love how Celeste is still DJing. Uh, no one is paying attention. Everyone's trying to listen to the little like award show. See, this is why prom feels so short because you only technically have like two hours within the game before the teacher like starts giving this thing. And then the Sims will just like hang around and like watch for hours and that's why it feels so short i don't feel like it should run like this like it's like simulation lag it takes her literally half an hour to get chatting like may just spit it out already <gasps> I am furious. How has Sydney won again with our day? Are you absolutely kidding me? Oh uh, no, Jules is gonna be heartbroken. Can we post a nasty remark? Right, open that social bunny up. Where is Sydney? Sydney, we are gonna do a mean message. Sydney, consider me this throwing shade. Your mother is a llama and so are you. <gasps> Jeb! Oh my god, so cute! Did we fill Jeb up with enough confidence that they finally felt confident enough to take off their bag? You know what? I want to, like, make a statement. I... I'm not gonna have my carry moment. I'm not gonna cover Sydney in fake blood, even though I so wish I could do that. I wish I could have pranked him or something, but we are gonna go compliment his appearance up on stage. We're getting up there. <gasps> Cowrie! Stop it. You are not about to like make out with Sydney in front of me. I would actually love it if she did. But then yeah, let's declare love publicly. Uh, why? We're gonna compliment his appearance. He looks great. Oh uh, my god, I kind of want to declare love publicly. Even though... Right, we're gonna reveal our crush. I don't even know if this is a real crush on like Jules's end or if like Jules is literally just doing it because they feel as if they should try to move on. But we are flirting right in front of Sydney. There is no holding back. I don't think we're gonna... <laughs> Sydney's like, this relationship is trash. Jules, I know you're just comparing Jeb to me. Your love isn't real. Impressed with video game prowess. No, but stop. Why is this actually cute? Jeb is absolutely loving it. And honestly, Celeste just stays unproblematic and unbothered. Celeste has had a great time. Even though I've barely done anything with her, she's had like the same oh actually maybe this just counts for the both of them i was like she's having a great time a decent night you've earned a shiny reward it's in your household inventory <gasps> hugo what a legend absolutely inviting celeste out yeah we'll absolutely go to the after party with friends where's the after party gonna be be? Are we gonna be dancing our little skelussies off like the little bone hilda? I swear one day I'll get sick of saying skelussy. Today is not that day. Why doesn't this work? Is, does this like thing just not work for anybody else? Okay, pretend that we are actually friends with Darling and also with Yuki because it's kind of embarrassing that we're not, but they just ne never ever come to my school before now, which is super annoying. We can have our first, oh, let's compliment their appearance again. We already obviously uh, revealed 
world that we have a little crush on them. I'm honestly gonna feel so bad for Jeb if we are just doing this to make Sydney jealous. I personally don't think we are. I feel like Jules thought that they were doing it for those reasons, but I actually think that like Jeb is really growing on Jules. I don't think we're gonna have our first kiss yet because that feels like a pretty big move. But let's go on a little romantic ride with Jeb Harris because I want to see, I want to see what the game's saying. I want to see what fate is leading us towards. I'm actually a little bit annoyed at Savannah. Protest against singing ever again. We're gonna do that because I feel like uh this is the exact same one that we got with sydney i feel last prom night this is the one that screwed everything up do they try out the smolder and attempt to win jeb over or do they try and de-escalate oh we're gonna keep flirting oh, okay okay so it went over jeb's head honestly i feel as if Jules isn't gonna take that as harshly as when it happened with Sydney. Cause I feel like Jules had their heart set on Sydney. They were like, it's fate, it's destiny. Oh my God, we're both cheerleaders. We're gonna be high school sweethearts. And with Jeb, it's kind of just like, oh, like I'm having a bit of fun. Jeb's cute. Like Jeb is innocent, I feel, in comparison to Sydney. So yeah, I feel like friendship is good. Friendship is a steady, the foundation for these two. But yeah, we're actually gonna, with Savannah, mm, I don't wanna, yeah, maybe we should like act tough. I don't wanna like shove, shout forbidden words and I don't really wanna throw shade. That feels like a little bit too, too much, but we're gonna act tough in front of her. Cause like, I definitely feel like Celeste is a bit like, right, come on, what gives? Like I asked you out as a friend like to be supportive and you couldn't even do that. Like you know how socially anxious I am about DJing in public and you literally couldn't even do that for me, Savannah. Like I thought our friendship was deeper than that. I thought that we were like really good friends. I obviously did this because I wanted to, because you filled me with confidence. <gasps> oh, you're going to treat yourself to a strawberry coat. Is there a little guitar? Oh my God, stop. That's actually super cute. Why don't you come and play with some emotion? Yeah, I have to say, I do just like how everyone just like stands around. It's really not a great thing to look at. <gasps> Stop, there's a little ice rink over here that like spawns. That's super cute. I love when these just like randomly spawn thanks to, thanks to seasons. I wish that these little places were real though. Like how cute would that be if it were a little like convenience store? Like I know you can purchase snacks over here but I just think it would be cuter if you could actually do stuff. See, this is a step though. Even though Celeste is slightly annoyed that Savannah didn't show up for emotional support, she's still playing guitar out in public. Like that is a really, really big step forward. Stop, is Kevin about to... Kevin, you are an angel and I love you. Archie is both simultaneously like absolutely buzzing and also really, really sad because he found out, I've talked about this before, but Naomi is from Mount Komorebi and he's found out through uh, like family members that it is actually uh, the festival of youth in Mount Komorebi today. And he's absolutely good. Like he keeps asking his parents like, when are we going back to Mount Komorebi? When are we going on our winter holiday? They go for like the Christmas period like every year. And obviously Archie being Archie and being into everything available to him under the sun, he absolutely loves Mount Komorebi. He loves like rock climbing, snowboarding, sledging, skiing. He loves it all. Extreme sports are this boy's vibe. <laughs> However, it is also snow in 
Copperdale and obviously it does snow in San Myshuno which is where this family originally lived but this is like his first Copperdale snow so he's absolutely loving it. But who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all my friends seem to have it figured out. Oh Savannah not coming to prom really messed with her confidence. Pick something you like. No worries you got time. Study for a high paying job. Pick something you like. 110%. There is no doubt about it. We are going to decorate. I always forget spandrels or eaves. I think it's eaves that I like. I want to go for a spooky occasion. Where are my spooky purple and orange fairy lights? Oh, look at these two. This is a very spooky day, but Archie has a little scout meeting in like a couple of hours, which actually sucks because I wanted to go to the pumpkin patch. I think we'll probably do it when like Archie gets home or maybe we'll like skip scouts today. I kind of want him to spend spooky day with the fam. He's is gonna be aging up soon. I feel like Archie knows that that is looming like around the corner. So he's like, no, I'm gonna literally make the most of being a kid. He's like, I wanna do everything. I wanna build snow angels. I wanna like, I can still be in the scouts when I'm a teenager. So like, where's the fun in that? <gasps> okay, Q. Yes, I got it right. Those are the eaves. Wants to become BFFs. Yeah, I don't think we're BFFs with Savannah. Savannah has never asked us to be BFFs. If that isn't telling enough, I don't know what is. We've been really close to her for a very long time and she's never actually asked us to be BFFs. Why am I just ready to fight like at any given moment in this Let's Play? I really got into the teen drama mindset and I'm like, oh, you wanna go? You wanna take it outside? Absolutely. I'm ready to pounce on anyone who betrays the Michaels. I love these kids far too much. Like. I am so defensive. I am a Michaels defender first and foremost. It's my day job. But yeah, we're gonna head out to the pumpkin patch. We're gonna bring along Olive. I don't wanna bring Savannah. We're bringing our home bestie. And then who should we bring for Jules? I guess one of the kids gets to bring a friend. I don't wanna bring Sydney. Oh, we don't know Jeb though. Maybe we'll invite Kevin. Sorry, Jeb, love you. But you know, I, I feel like that's a big step, you know. Jules inviting them out to the pumpkin patch on a family day? No. That screams too much commitment. And Jules is a little bit scared of that after putting all of their eggs in Sydney's basket. We will not be committing to anyone anytime soon. Thank you very much. Is it 25 different lots? Damn, this family get out and about. Look at them go. Archie, why don't you come on over here and grab a rare prize on the little grabber. And then Parker, you are actually gonna come over here and carve a pumpkin. We shall go for a classic. Mmm, yeah, we'll go for a classic orange pumpkin. Hopefully that's not facing the wrong way. Hopefully it is all correct. I think it is. Yeah, 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 it is. Okay, I also want her to scrap this carving because I want to have a little pumpkin off between the parents. So you are going to go for a cockeyed one and I'm going to do a pale orange one because Parker's doing classic one. Jules is feeling very rebellious. Oh, okay then, I guess. Kevin, let's tell an urban legend to Kevin and vibe check. I don't think we're actually gonna host the spooky day party in this part. I feel like it's gonna be too much drama for my liking. Uh, excuse me, Parker, why have you ditched your pumpkin? You're never gonna win. Oh, you wanted a gumball? Okay. Okay, that's, you know what, that's fair and valid. I too would also want a gumball. So yeah, you go get your treat. <laughs> Parker really said, I do deserve a treat. I have looked after these children. Why are you stealing my machine? Get off it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Loser. Absolutely fuming that he just lost. And little Olive is over here playing skee-ball. Oh, you're shit. 
Actually, I'm really, really terrible. Parker! Parker's obsessed with the gumballs. We found Parker's kryptonite. It's gumballs. Can we put this in our inventory? Oh my god, yes we can. It has four days until it's spoiled, so that's absolutely fine. Oh no! Did Archie not win anything? <gasps> Grab a common prize. Look at Taku, he's still watching. Like, oh, look, he's absolutely fuming. He's throwing his things all over the floor. Parker really doesn't want to finish this pumpkin. Okay, that's fair. I mean, your wife wins. I'm sorry, that's just the way it goes. We got a common item from the claw machine. What did you get? We got a little hopper, cute. Oh, Celeste, where's darling? I want you to, to go chat as well. Um, we're gonna describe a new idea. I don't know, is it about time that Celeste gets over her crush on Savannah? See, that's why I feel like she's even more upset that she didn't come to prom with her like even though it was friends she's just like oh i really like like this person and i thought we were getting along like really well <gasps> stupid claw machine archie where did you go you are come on get over it go play go let off some steam it's not that deep, is it, Archie? Also, you won something. You won a hopper. Like, you beat Taku. He didn't get feckin' anything. Oh, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. I'm so glad these two reconnected. See, who needs Savannah when you have a darling Walsh right in front of you? I also feel like she's, like, really comfortable around darling. I feel like these two in, like, the city of San Maishuno felt like kind of the whole world was against him in a sense and they're kind of just like two souls that I feel connect with one another so I'm really really glad that they've like reconnected and found each other again also we still have our autograph of Octavia that we actually need to put up on our wall but what we should do is actually uh, at an event we are going to go for obvious Obviously, a spooky party. I don't want to invite Sydney. Ooh, burn. Savannah's already wearing a costume. I could invite Sydney for the drama, but I think it would hurt Sydney's ego more if he just like full on weren't to get an invite. Unfortunately, we don't know Darling, so we can't actually invite them, but we could potentially just have Celeste invite them to their house at the same time. Is it bad if I hire my mum as our caterer? And then it's going to happen. It's seven p.m. right now let's go for 8 p.m. and it's gonna be at our house I do think we need to buy some more spooky decorations which is kind of why I don't want to do it in this part as well like I want to spookify the house a little bit and I also want like the mum to make some eyeballs and stuff maybe even jewels who says that it has to be on our mum I should probably have jewels do it but we need to earn gold on any hosted party so let's actually head home as jewels and get this set up. Why don't we do a little bit of decoration to round this part up? I absolutely love decorating my Sims 4 houses. As you all know, hello, have you seen the house that we live in? I do feel as if Jules' room is already rife for spooky party throwing. Oh my god, I just caught a fly. I am a god. Considering we have a fair amount of money, Parker has been bringing home the bacon literally so much flipping money uh let's put these in our household inventory for now because we'll get the let's go filter items we will do by nope not get famous seasons and then also buy the one and only spooky stuff i will say there's not like a super like large amount of room we're actually gonna put our lemon tree in our household inventory because i feel like that's probably gonna die off honestly if we don't so let's get this little pumpkin over here we'll put the one that mum carved as well out here because I love how I just call them mum and dad. But yeah, the one that Naomi carved. I do feel as if they are my mum and dad. I would personally die for these sims, as you all know. I just got like really dizzy all of a sudden. Whoa! 
I know we're playing spooky day, but I didn't want a trick or treat. And that definitely felt like a trick. Hello, brain, can you stop being dizzy? That was the weirdest thing ever ever. I feel like most people do congregate from what I've seen in the living room when we've hosted parties in the past. So let's add sp some spooky things into the uh, living room. Let's add some spiders. I love how this season's one is literally they literally said, yeah, let's just repeat that object. I just like decorating the outside, especially to like let trick-or-treaters know that, you know, we are celebrating. You you can come knock on our door. We will be giving out some sweets to you all. God, we've really gone all out. <laughs> But I feel like Naomi would go out on Halloween. I feel like Halloween is a very big occasion. I also have not thought about where we are going to be putting our festive tree. I think probably in this corner. I'll probably remove like the bookcase and this little bean bag and have the Christmas tree up there. But I think we're done on the spooky front. We got our little trick or treat bowl. I think everything is sorted. That's like as much as I wanted to do. We could go all out and get a freaking, what's it called? Organ for Celeste to play, but she actually, that's like one of the only instruments that she actually doesn't know how to play. Although I feel like later in life, she probably will get into the organ, but I'm gonna round it up here. We're gonna host the party in the next one. I am gonna, I'm gonna go for gold. We're doing it, it's happening. We're not even gonna repeat our outfits. I refuse to let Jules be an outfit repeater. Their name is not Lizzie McGuire, it's Jules Michaels. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this part. I feel like maybe we could potentially have our first kiss with Jeb. I also kinda wanna give them a cheeky little makeover. I do feel as if their confidence has risen enough since knowing Jules that they are a little bit more comfortable with taking their bag off. So uh, maybe I'll start the next part with a little makeover of Jab, but thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all then. Bye now.